The area of a triangle in trigonometry, remember the area is half AB sine C. Example one, find the area to the nearest whole number. So we want to find our area to the nearest whole number. Here is a triangle, 10 meters long, 13 meters long, 65 degrees here, 30 degrees here. To use our formula, area is a half a, B, sine, C. We need two arms called A and B. And in this diagram, you can see that we know the length of 10 meters. So I can shade that in. There's one arm. I know 13 meters. So there's another arm. You could almost imagine a hand at the end and a hand at the end. There's your two arms. And that means that the hug angle that we would need is this angle here but at the moment it looks like we don't know that angle so before i can use my formula i need to figure out this angle is it possible to find out this angle well the answer is yes we know this is 65 we know this is 30 and what do the three angles in a triangle add up to yes they add up to 180 degrees so i must do a little sum first of all i say 65 degrees plus 30 degrees that adds up to 95 degrees and then I get 180 degrees and take away 95 and that is 85 degrees. Okay, so we've got 85 degrees. So I go back up here and mark in 85 degrees. Now I'm ready to use my area formula. The area is a half multiplied by my first arm, which is 10, multiplied by my second arm, which is 13 multiplied by the sine of the angle in between those arms, which is 85 degrees. And all I have to do now is type that into my calculator and round it off to the nearest whole number. So a half is 0 0.5, or if you prefer, you can write one half. Uh, half multiplied by uh, 10, multiplied by 13, multiplied by the sine of 85 degrees. And in this formula for the area formula, it's always sine is used because it's in the formula, sine 85. And then that works out to be 64.75. So let's write 64.75, but they want the answers to the nearest whole number. So is it 64 or is it going to be 65? The answer is 65. So it's 60. Five, and don't forget to put your units in because we're measuring in meters the area is meters squared so there is the uh, area of this particular triangle a second example example two they want us to find the area of this the area of this triangle it's correct to one decimal place you'll notice here that we have um we have a length 5.5 .5. We also have a length 6.7. So if they're the two arms, they're joined here, we need this angle as our hug angle, or the angle in between. So the good news is we have all our information, we just need to feed it into the formula. The area is a half A, B, sine C, that's in our maths tables, if you ever forget it. So the area is a half times the first arm, it doesn't matter which one you call the first arm, let's call it 5.5. Multiplied by the second arm, which is 6.7, multiplied by the sine of 120 degrees. And all we have to do is type this into our calculator and we're, we're finished. Okay, so we're going to put 0 0.5 multiplied by 5.5 multiplied by 6.7 multiplied by sine 120 degrees and press equals. And up comes 15.956. So 15.956. And that's going to be centimetres squared. But they want, it, they want the answer correct to one decimal place. So in this case, 15.9 will round up to, well, 9 can't go up to any higher. So it comes, becomes a 0 and this becomes 16. So the answer is 16.0 centimetres squared is the answer.